I blame work. I blame work for everything. For global warming and starving children and AIDS. Tuesday. It's uh, well. It's Wednesday now because I got off work. Mfing late. I mean, I had the same exact shift yesterday. I got off at 10:07, and today I got off at 11:30. It really matters who you're closing with. Thanks, Muffin. No, it wasn't him. But I did close with Muffin today. Um, and um, my manager was like, well, "What kind of muffin is he?" And then he's like, "You know what? He's regular and he's boring, and old people like him. He's a brand muffin." I was like. Jesus. And then I said, that's like watching Mr. Rogers grow up, and then things got carried away, and then, then my manager went and told me about how he, he, um, he thinks Muffin would definitely, um, partake in, um, hentai and yaoi, and I, I disagree more than I've disagreed with many things, and my manager doesn't. He's a strange guy. He's a strange guy. Anyways, questions. Let's talk about questions. And maybe Bennett can stop IMing me. I'm, I told him. I told him that I will go with him to San Jose. And he's... Whatever. Um, I have your head, Bennett. I have a head. And your head, sir, is freaking giant. It's like... It's a good look. Wait, and P.S. Megan... Oh, I have roots. I have roots from my green hair. Okay, try having brunette hair and then having white blonde hair. And your brunette hair is like, that's not right. And tries to grow in over it. I'm a Disney Kid 1. In fact, I'm going to steal more Disney Kid 1 and say that my favorite Pokemon is Staryu. How do you like me now? I actually don't know what my favorite Pokemon is. I mean, Pikachu, obviously. If you had to choose anything, because if you're a stereotype, this Pikachu's adorable. Um, I mean, if it was in a battle, I wouldn't pick Pikachu, because I'm not an idiot, but whatever. If I was a Pokemon, I'd be Clefairy, apparently. I'm comfortable with that. I've come to terms with that over the week. Um, I actually never watched Pokemon when I was a kid. I didn't start watching it until I was probably like 18, 19. Um, so like two years ago, three years ago. Um, yeah. Is that weird? Maybe. I don't know. What else? Oh, Lily, you asked um, what movies or TV shows scared us when I was a kid, and I was a weird-ass kid that was not scared of anything and therefore was kind of a jerk because I would, um... But it says, why, are I, why aren't you following my Twitter yet? I thought we were friends. <laughs> um... Anyways, so, yeah, I would, like, prey on everyone's rational fears, like, I would close the door, and then I'd just watch off the lights, and be like, oh, now you're in a dark room, and be like, oh my god, it's dark, get us out of a small car, I'm a small kid, give me a, and I'm like, no, you're gonna deal with this shit, you're gonna learn to love it, or, like, if we're up on something high, like, you know, like, in a fort or something, or climbing a tree, and I'd be like, oh, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall off the height, and they'd be like, ah, stop, it's scary up here. Say nothing, but a G thing, baby. Um, and I think the worst thing I ever did to prey on people's fears was, um, in my old house in the bathroom, we had a heat lamp, and I don't know if you've ever dealt with a heat lamp, but it, um, turns the entire bathroom red, because it's a heat lamp for when you get out of the shower. And, um, one time we were playing Bloody Mary, and no one knew I had this heat lamp, and I waited by the light switch, so... And the last round went, I could switch on the red light and everything would be red. And I will never, ever, ever forget how fucking freaked out those kids were. And I was just like, dance, puppets, dance. I'm still not okay, am I? I'm, I'm a horrible person. Whatever. Uh... <laughs> I think I've answered a lot of these questions so far. Pokemon, favorite Pokemon, kind of. 
Um, oh, I should probably answer my own question about the musical. Um, I would want... Okay. Come with me on this journey. I would want... When my parents told me they were getting a divorce to be a musical. Oh, is that sick? Okay, I think it'd be really funny. Because like, it wasn't that traumatizing to me. Like, I was really young. I was seven. And it was a horrible marriage. So, it was like... Okay. And, um... It was really bad for my parents. Like, they were all, like, put... I think that being a musical number... It's a seller. That's a real musical. Um, I completely agree that all our Berkeley trips should be musicals. Um, and that Captain Gotham should have a solo, if not a song dedicated to him. I think we should write a song, and I think we should do, like, an improv anywhere thing and just break out into song the next time we go. Personally, that's how I feel. Um, that's two... Uh, my first day of high school, I think that would have been cool because it'd be like, whoa, what's going on? Why? I go to, I go to a musical high school, not a high school musical, bitch. Um, how many times have I sworn in this video? Whatever. Um, and the fourth time, my cat is glaring at me. This should be a musical. It should be like in my cat's voice. Content's voice. Um... What else? I don't know what I want to be a musical. Um. <sighs> what a road trip musical. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, if we all, like, if and when. Not if, when we go to Tahoe. I think that should be a musical. Um. What shows am I into right now? <laughs> um. Hmm. I watch House a lot. I watch Law and Order SVU a lot. Um, True Blood, I watch that. Lily, you watch it too. Can't judge me. Um, I watch The Hills. You can all judge me on that. You can throw stones at me for that, but I watch The Hills. Um, I think it's like really, really vapidly entertaining. Um, I watch America's Next Top Model if it's in a marathon form. Like, I always end up watching the first two episodes and then being like, ah, oh, fuck it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, I watch tons of cartoons. Flapjack, Chowder, whatever else is on, <laughs> really. But those are the main ones. Um, what else? What else am I into? I'm trying to scroll down. It's not letting me. Ooh. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, because Layla, you didn't have a video. Um, my question for this week is, if you had to, like, if tomorrow's film was like, you have to marry a celebrity, and it doesn't matter if they're already married, you need to marry them now, um, who would you marry? I'd marry Robert Downey Jr. In a minute. In, like, a second. Like, psh, I choose you, Robert Downey Jr. Um, and also, what are your last three texts? And I know that's, like, something that's always on, like, in a MySpace survey, but... Thanks to Twitter, my t my last three texts are way awesome. Like, I have um, Megan saying to, I assume, Bennett, because I don't know what his Twitter name is yet, as you can see by the I am I read you. It says, you keep saying you're going to cross-dress. I have yet to see you go through with it. And I can't think of anyone else who has promised us to dress flamboyantly, and they haven't, besides Bennett. Um, next is, kilts are manly, though, in response to that. And, um... Then Bennett himself texted me with SJ Friday evening for Tanagers and Vampires? Question mark. Tanagers and Vampires? Question mark. Yeah, his name's Funk Defender in my phone. I can explain that, but it's already a nine minute video, so. Whatever! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Normally I'm a lot weirder and more energetic and look less like a homeless Courtney Love, but. Whatever! 